free and enjoy more of what the world has to offer in this action one because this is where most human beings screw the pooch so a little one person trampoline very you know, i screen shared it like there's no excuse like phone numbers are just out there you just got to pick up the phone smile and dial so Good morning, good morning, and welcome back to another episode of the Talk to Terror Morning Show, where we go over tips, tricks, ideas, and exercises to help make you the absolute best version of yourself, not only for yourself, but for the people you love and care about most. And today we're talking about, should the Super Bowl be a national holiday? Even though that's not really the point of the discussion, it is kind of where we're going to base off our initial framework. So I don't know if you can see, got a few bags under my eyes, stayed up a little later than I normally do. It was, had a Super Bowl party, had friends over, had lots of food, ungodly amounts of food. I ate everything. There was multiple, multiple crock pots, if you know what I'm talking about. And so I wanted to come on here today and kind of address a few points when it comes to these events, how we can possibly feel the following day, and how that is totally, totally normal. So number one, <clears throat> okay, we're going to kind of take these points out of order. So the first one is, if you don't, you probably aren't going to feel 100% the night after, say, a Super Bowl party or any type of get together event or something that's going to be causing you to stay up a little later, doing things different, overeating, you're probably not going to be feeling 100%. Let's go ahead and get to the board. Good morning. Good morning, Instagram. So episode 211. So number one, we're not going to feel one hundred percent. Number one, we're not going to feel one hundred percent. So just understanding this and coming to peace with this on a Monday morning can be an advantage. Can make you feel a lot better overall. Be like, okay, yeah, that was a special event. And just acknowledging that, or maybe you just needed to hear from somebody else that when event, special events come on. So don't just take this for Super Bowls. Think about when your friends or family get married, when, say, your kids or friends or family have birthdays. Maybe there's special conventions that you're going to be going to across the country. Something that's going to cause you to get out of your rhythm a little bit. Just acknowledging and understanding that. You're not going to feel 100% in the problem. And this is where I can only speak from personal experience, but the following Monday, I would just think, what is wrong with me? Why am I not super motivated? Why am I not super hungry to grow my businesses? Why, why am I feel so behind on my, and then one bad thing happens or something small, somebody says something negative to me, and then boom, my emotions get all riled up. And then it kind of catapults and goes further and further into the wrong direction. So we did want to bring up that one. Not going to feel 100%. And that's okay. And that's okay. Maybe we just schedule the day around how we feel and what we're doing. Or maybe just giving ourselves a break would be my main point if we could take anything away from this. Number one, not going to feel 100%. Number two, eat something light. Whenever I eat something light, whenever I'm feeling a little sluggish, a little tired from the day before, I usually don't eat a whole lot of carbohydrates. I usually like to cut those out. If anything, I like to eat light things like spinach and just some vegetables, or I try to fast and not eat until afternoon. These are some ways how I usually combat a slower morning. So... If you're looking and you're saying, wow, Tana, I'm feeling a little sluggish after the Super Bowl myself. What could I do? I would highly recommend not eating 
or eating something very light. If you're not used to fasting and you don't do well with that and you've tried it, or at least you've, <clears throat> you've been disciplined enough to try it, or at least kind of lean into it and figure out, is it how hungry really are you? Do you need to take a break to reset? So for example, we had crock pot mania, had 10 different foods yesterday, eating a whole bunch nonstop. And the last thing I want to do is eat a big monstrous meal versus probably something very, very light for breakfast. And that can help me recoup my energy and just give my digestive check, my digestive track a break, which is really good for energy and a bunch of other things. So next recommendation for me would be eat something light or don't eat at all until end of the afternoon. That usually helps when you're having a sluggish morning. <clears throat> And then three, the last one that we're gonna go over today is remember, remember what you want. Remember what you want. Last Friday, we talked about how we need to make a list every single day for our top six priorities. I write them over here on this whiteboard that you cannot see because I can turn the camera. It's not going to do that right now. But I write out my top six priorities and then just kind of coming back to it, acknowledging, okay, I'm not going to feel 100%. I'm not going to wolf down a big meal because it's only going to make me feel more tired. And then I'm going to really look at what could I get done today that would make me feel really, really good. What could I get done today that would make me feel really, really good? Remember what it is that you really want. Maybe you take a second and you're looking at your one page life plan that you've created with me and your, or any, any type of simplified goal or simplified sheet that you've created for yourself and you're looking at it, okay, what would be a step, one step in the right direction? Because ultimately, if anything will make you feel better, I guess this could be the bonus for today. Action feels good. Action feels good. So there's something special about, put a little B here for bonus. There's something special about when we're having a sluggish day and we're kind of reviewing, thinking about what it is, maybe we're just grateful and we're thinking, holy crap, I'm really excited for my family. I'm really excited for my friends. I'm really happy about having the opportunity to eat lots of food and meet up with people and have a good time. I'm also grateful for kind of seeing what I get to go and do this week, having the right state of mind, understanding that I'm probably not gonna feel 100% right off the bat but now I'm doing the live show and kind of getting some things planned out for the week already. I already feel a little bit better. So if there's anything, action feels good. So if there's one thing that you could do today that would help improve your situation, would help move you closer to your goals, what is one small thing that you could do that would put a smile to your face and make you feel better and less sluggish? Also, be careful. Don't, a lot of times, if I'm feeling tired or feeling not a hundred percent, then I will like, oh, well, you know, I already don't feel a hundred percent. I'm just going to go eat whatever I want and do this. And then usually just crash way harder and then go take another nap because I've already kind of quit for the day. That doesn't ever make me feel better personally to eat strong. Sometimes you do need to take a break for a day and just take a break off in general. And it's not against the end of the world. The entrepreneur police, the fun police, the money police, they're not going to come knocking to your door if you don't get this done. However, I have found for myself, action feels good. So if there's any one thing that I could do today, try and think there's some paperwork I need to get done after this that I need, that's really important. This is my number one task for the day, and it's on my top six priorities for the day. So get that knocked out and then ask myself, how do I feel? Do I need to take a little break? Do I need to eat something light? What do I need a little extra coffee? How am I feeling and what can make the day go right? So I want to bring this up is should, should the Super Bowl be a national holiday? 
No, I personally don't think so. But I did want to grab it up on there and put it up there because a lot of times after this, these meetups and stuff like that, it's really easy for me to, to just beat myself up the next day and think, wow, um, I'm really behind. I'm so tired. I said I wasn't going to do this. I said I was going to get up every single day at 5 a.m. I said I was going to do this, and I'm not doing this. And that all that negative self-talk can really drain you and make you feel even worse, so be really careful of that. And <clears throat> you guys got the other points. But, of course, let's remember what we want and take one action step towards it. So... Bring it back home. That's all I have for today. Was I just wanted to go over a few steps, tricks, ideas, thoughts on when we have events, we watch, say, or we stay up a little bit later, we're hanging out with some friends, we're having a good time. It's okay to have a good time. Remember what it is that you really want. Are you creating these businesses? What are you working towards? Are these things in alignment with what it is that you truly want to do? Like, what is the goal here? The goal for me why I even want to do well in business is so I can go have fun and do extravagant things with my friends and family and go make an impact in the world. And part of that is having fun and setting up events and doing these types of things. So and you're not going to feel 100% all the time. Or at least I know I don't feel 100% all the time. And the goal is I'm really trying to stop beating myself up about it and remember that yeah, this is part of life. A little bit of the ups and downs, and that's okay too. So if you're feeling a little slow, we're here for you. Don't be too hard on yourself. Remember what it is you want. Try and eat something smaller, maybe fast a little bit. Drink lots of water, and that should help. But that's all I had for today. Thanks, guys. Should the Super Bowl be a national holiday? I don't know. Do you get, think everyone deserves the day off? What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Share this content if you thought it was helpful to someone who you think could benefit from. If you want to work with me personally, I do six-week challenges to create the one-page life plan to help simplify your life so you can get out of your head and live the life that you really want. Cheers to that. You can send me a direct message for more info on that. Other than that, I will be back here live 7 a.m. Central Standard Time with episode 212 where we're going to be talking about the basics going back over the basics and kind of what are the basics in my business. And then hopefully you guys can get bits and pieces of what it is that you want to do for the basics in your own career and life. Cheers, friends. Have an amazing, fun-filled go-getter Monday. It's going to be a great day. It's, we're gonna, it's going to be a great day. I'm excited. So starting off right, going to get some stuff done, feeling better already. Action makes you feel good. Huh. Cheers to that. I'm out of here. Episode 211. You guys have a fantastic Monday. Love y'all. I'm out. See you tomorrow. Till next time.